Hey, what is up, guys? My name is BNF67, and we're back with another Skyrim modded episode, episode 12 in this series. Stop lagging, thank you. So, in the previous episode, we tried getting into uh, uh, the chest in the Blue Palace, which I which I made it into. So, which I made it into, which I m managed to go get it. Yeah, there we go. Uh, so. Uh, hmm? Sorry, I was lost in thought. I'm planning my wedding, you see. So, some say I got my position because my. So we are going to back to Mar Marcus, Marcus Janus, to start re start the rebuilding process. And do you all do you all have your snacks, your your soda, your drinks, your chips, whatever, some popcorn? Good, I sure do. I got some Pepsi. Sponsor? No, I'm just kidding. Hopefully we don't uh, lag too much here. Yeah, I gotta unlock this one then. Alright. <clears throat> Hopefully I can get this video edited and uploaded tonight. Tonight as of being Saturday, October, October, <laughs> September 27th. Oh yeah, duh, we're level 10, because Lutz's face came up to us yesterday. <clears throat> loading, 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 loading. Okay, there we go. Took one of them. Alright. Sorry, put him in faster. Just go that way. I have the hiccups for some reason. We're good. I think. <laughs> the hell? Oh, there go. oh, yeah. All right then. <laughs> okay then. I've heard the companions named you as Hawk. Oh, hello. Need something? You said to return in 24 hours. Ah, yes, we've been waiting for you. Now that you're here, we have a matter of grave importance to discuss with you. So you really think this nonsensical plan of yours will work, Babel? Janice, it has to work. Black we have geez. no choice. Now then. Reporting as ordered, sir. Good. That armor looks good on you, too. <laughs> <laughs> well... It itches, and it stinks. It's had a dead man in it. What do you expect? <laughs> so, now that we're all here, it, Valerius, well, like I said, like it's a fine. It's plan? fine on her. Did you ever stop to wonder how my men and I came to this place? <laughs> Sorry, taking a drink. <clears throat> I assumed it was to spy on the Thalmor. Well, yes, but that's not all of it. Until a couple of weeks ago, we were still in Cyrodiil, and our sources began reporting on new Thalmor activity taking place south of here. I sent my best man, Korst, on the mission. He was ordered not to confront them, but to observe only. Unfortunately, he did not return, and I'm afraid something went very wrong. How long has he been missing? About two weeks. After one week went by, we'd started to fear the worst, so we mobilized and came here. Finding Korst is the main reason we're here. This fort gave us the perfect spot to rest, resupply, and prepare to find out what happened to him. So, we eliminated the bandits, took over the fort, tried to blend in and not draw attention to ourselves. Marcus said you had a plan? Yes. Fortunately, the Imperials left everything behind when they abandoned this place. It looks like Ellen when herself was here. She was. Uh, what does that have to do with your plan? 
I need you to pose as an Imperial officer with orders to transfer Korst back to Ellenwen for interrogation. Legion prisoner transfer parties always travel in groups of three, so Falco and Sienna will be going with you. As you can see, they're already in Imperial uniform, and you must do the same if this has any chance of working. We found some officer's armor that should fit you, and Alton put a little enchantment on it for you. It's only worn by high-ranking officers, so it should help you carry a bit more influence. If you have any other powers of persuasion, this would be the time to use them. Perhaps between the two, it will be enough for this to work. Ouch. What about the transfer order from Ellenwyn? While searching the fort, we found a communique from her own hand, and were able to forge a transfer order to give to the men at the prison. If the Thalmor officers question you, remind them you're a special envoy from the embassy. They had best comply. Hopefully it'll be enough. But if not, you may have to resort to the old-fashioned way of negotiating. <clears throat> Killing people. <laughs> this prison surely is heavily guarded. Yes. Or it surely is heavily be. guarded, sorry. Make no mistake. Those Thalmor bastards are beyond brutal. And I've heard there's a particularly ruthless justice here named Arendil who may be in charge there. If it's the Arendil I know, you can be certain he will kill you on sight. So, you must be careful. If course is alive, arrest assumed, we'll bring him back. Thank you, friend. You know, Marcus seems to be quite impressed with you. Well, if he trusts you, then I trust you. Good. Prison is located south of here, on the road past Fort Newgrad, heading to the Cyrodiil border. Here, I'll mark it on your map. Here's your armor. Don't forget to put it on. Please, return as soon as you can. And good luck. All right. Put on his armor. Can I help you, friend? <laughs> Thank you. All right. Option: negotiate a peaceful release of course. I don't even know if it's possible, but we're gonna try. Being level ten, I really don't want to fight. Them. I don't want to fight Thalmor. Well, it can be anyway. <coughs> mm. Hold down the attack button until the bow is fully drawn. The nice ebony bow. Remove it so I need to go off to the hill again. So, all the way through. Okay. So I think I need to go. Is it this way? I look very uh, official. Just a shirt. It's all good. It's all I need. Should have gave you the whole uniform. Though. That would have been better. Would have looked better. Give my flowers. Thank you. Yeah, so they'll go up. I saw some hawks today. Today again, in meaning the 27th of September. 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 Blah, blah, blah. Whoa. It's very blurry. Just can't see. Very 
very snowy up here, I can't see. Uh, this is what uh, wet and cold does, it uh, blows out your vision. And there's like a big gust of wind, or, and you're like in the snow. It returns to normal. I believe it's this way. Very cold up here. Is this uh is this a real path or is this uh what did I call it? Or is this hand done by the creators? The mod people. That I don't know. Obviously those I'm gonna be asking. <laughs> am I going the right way? Yeah, yeah, okay. I just wanna make sure. Dragon. Uh -oh. That's not good. Yeah, it's very bright up here. So, you know, snowberries aren't actually red, they're uh, white. I have a couple in my, in my backyard. Actually, a type of uh, elf. In that way. Here we go. Into the Thalmo prison. Let's see if we can negotiate peacefully. Ah, well, if we can. Hot. 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 Hot, 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 hot. Just kidding. My nice clothing, though. There is an envoy here who appears to have orders for a prisoner transfer from Eldwin herself. Shh, you gotta be quiet, what guys. What should I do? Hmm, this looks a little rough. But I'll handle this. Come with me. Ew. Stay calm. It'll be okay. Guys, you viewers, stay calm. It'll be okay. I got this under control. I'm sorry. I haven't been given any orders concerning any transfer. I'm not able to release the prisoner at this time. You will release the prisoner. I'm warning you. Or oh, what? You think you can intimidate me? I'm a Thalmo Justicia, and I am not intimidated easily. Certain people at the embassy, embassy might not appreciate your lack of co cooperation. Do you take me for a fool? You don't think I can sniff out a spy when I see one. We're going to have a lot of fun with you downstairs. Is oh yeah. Ah, it didn't look like it. I tried. Other people. 
got some gold here. I'm gonna be very upset. Because I have more than that. Wanna hit me? I didn't think so. Is someone there? Nope. No one's here. It's all a figment of your imagination, mate. Not for certain. You gotta think about it for a second. Huh? Huh? Oh, hey, mate. Oh. Hmm. Alright then. I think it was easy. Alright then. Required key. my phone for it. <laughs> Let's see if I can set it here. Okay, probably been recording for what, 15 minutes? 15, there we go, boom. Okay, got it set. Nope, that's not what we're going for. Is someone back there? It's a bit white down here, is it just me? Mm, maybe it's just me. Kinda of seems like a little bit white down here. Don't burn Sienna, that's not cool. Don't burn my wife. My future wife. Maybe. something about JFK and then I know it, but uh, uh, anything other than that, I have no idea. Uh, okay, I didn't see any special books, you all had an eagle. Okay, what is this? A regular chest. Songs of Fjomnir. Blah 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 boom. Okay, let's see. Um, where do we go? Where do we go? Excuse me. Another chest. 
barrel. It's just a barrel. Saved to see who was a fan of yours. Looks like I did. Good to go. Someone there. Nope. The shackles. He's on you. Let me let me see if I can walk. So so dizzy. Uh, uh, so so weak. Can can't walk. Jeez, he's on. Sienna, he's not gonna make it if you don't help him. See what you can do. Hang on, horse. I'll have you as good as new in a second. <laughs> yes. That's much better now, Sienna. Thank you. Falco? Sienna? What are you doing here? What are you doing here? Valerius sent us to find you and bring you home. Did you think we would let you rot in here? I didn't know, Falco. I thought I might die in this stinking place. Are all those guards dead? You killed them all? No, not all of them. Our new friend here is quite a fighter. Yes. Who is this with you? I've never seen him before. A traveler and a new friend of Marcus <coughs> Janus. Of course, you won't believe it. Marcus is in Skyrim. Marcus Janus in Skyrim? You must be drinking too much meat again, Farco. No, it's true. And he's back in Helgen with Valerius. Helgen? I bet Valerius never saw that one coming. <laughs> Why is Marcus here? I'm not sure, but something about rebuilding Helgen, I think. Of course, we can talk about that later. We need to go. Yes. Let's get out of here before any more of those Dalmor maggots show up. Ah, uh, let's get out of here. Well, you can't travel like that. Is your gear around here anywhere? Yes. I believe they put it in this chest over there. Let me see. Yes, there it is. Uh, that's much better. Perhaps our new friend here will lead the way. We will be right behind you. Ah, uh, we will be right behind you. Ah, look at me, I'm Arnold, yeah. <laughs> He's supposed to be Arnold, that's awesome. Good, uh, good voicing. Good voice acting, yeah. It's good, it's very good. Just for a record, I don't know where we're going. Right here is where we're going. <coughs> <laughs> hey, yeah, let's leave. 
him back into Skyrim. Nice glass bow. Okay. I don't want to walk. Oh, can't get up. So weak. Ah, oh, yes. How about a new friend here can go lead the way? Ah, oh, go up with the right behind you. Ah, oh, yes. Look at me. I'm Arnold. <laughs> get with the chopper. I'm kidding. I'm not good at his voice. I'd say they were mad. I still say he's mad, too. Hell, maybe we're all mad. <coughs> I brought along some friends to see you. Sure as bones. I see now why Marcus has spoken so highly of you. Quite impressive. Now, let's see if we can find out what in the name of Akatosh is going on in that prison. Of course, thank the gods you're safe. But how in oblivion were you even captured? I don't know how they found me. It's like they knew exactly where I was hiding. I never had a chance to escape. Well, thanks to our new friend, you're okay now. Tell me what you learned. It's a prison, all right. And it's heavily guarded inside. Well, it was heavily guarded. There are none alive in there now. The commandant was never there that I could tell. Did anyone mention where he was? I overheard the guards joking about him getting soft in their embassy. Spending too much time with some whore from the Tormas Tavern. But that's all I could hear them say. Did you learn anything else? Well, I didn't think much of it at the time. But I overheard the guard talking about how many prisoners were coming and going from the prison. And I noticed several new prisoners had probably get taken away while I was there. Just like he said. They were not tortured, beaten or stopped either. I guess they saved all of that for me. And wait. Yes. One group had a family. A woman and a small child, but he was not old enough to fight. The guard was joking about raping the woman and selling the child to bandits as a slave. Could that be true? They are selling slaves? Well now, that's certainly a lot to chew on. Excellent work, old friend. I'll check and see if any of my sources know about any. Thank you, Korst. You go get something to eat and some sleep. I need you well rested. Dismiss. <coughs> You've done me a great service, friend. You saved his life, and for that I'm, I'm not talking be because they're pain. talking. So, is there anything else yeah. you can add? No, I think that's all. Korst's report was accurate. Did you hear anything about slaves? No, but the prison was huge, and Korst was the only prisoner. That is odd, isn't it? So it looks like the elves are up to no good. <laughs> Where else to easily kidnap people than in Skyrim? All they have to say is that they're worshipping Talos. I'm sure many of these enforcers skulking about in Skyrim are under their command. I know you've had a long day, and I won't keep you. We'll let you know when we have anything new. But please, check in with Marcus as soon as you can. Thank you again, my friend. Let's go talk to Marcus. The Civil War, it's... Hmm? Hey! Uh, Valeria said you wanted to see me? I praise the Nine you came along. Your help thus far has been invaluable. 
but it's time to make some difficult choices. Valerius and I have spoken at length about this. We value your opinion. We need more guards for the hold, as there's only a few of us right now. We're vulnerable to attack from several fronts, especially from the entrance through the caves, as well as the two main gates. There is no possible way the laborers and carpenters can begin their work if they're not able to do so safely. We need more guards. <coughs> We could hire them ourselves and remain independent. Yes. In fact, we prefer to remain unaffected by any outside entanglements or alliances. Not that we necessarily have anything against either side in the Civil War, but we just think it would be best to remain an independent settlement. No one to answer to, no one snooping into our business, and most of all, no damn politicians to pull our strings. <laughs> It seems the Jarl Falkreef is occupied in his own matters, so it's unlikely we'll have any worries from him. Besides, he's abandoned this place anyway. So the way we see it, it's ours to do with as we please. So yes, this is exactly what we were hoping for. Are you absolutely certain this is what you want? Yeah, I have made my decision. Helgen will become independent. I hope that's what you would say. In fact, I already <clears> had Patsy <throat> post some notices in a few of the inns here in Skyrim. So far, he's made it to Whiterun, Solitude, Riften, Dawnstar, and Windhelm. But he says he doesn't care for carriages anymore, though. Check around in those inns to see if our notices have produced any potential recruits. If you can find, oh, let's say, around five or six recruits, with the proper training from Korst, that should get us started. Have the recruits to gather in the courtyard. And when you're finished, report to Korst for further instructions. Good luck, and be safe. All right. Well, guys, I'm going to have to end this episode here. I hope you guys have enjoyed uh, this episode of gathering some people for uh, our Helgen town with that will remain independent so in the next episode we're going to find these recruits yeah we're gonna find this recruit in these inns yeah yeah we're gonna find them in the inns and uh, train them to be our Helgen guards so I hope you guys appreciate this episode rate Come subscribe and follow me on Twitter. It's greatly, greatly appreciated. And I'll see you guys in episode 13 of Skyrim Modded Let's Play. I hope you guys enjoy again for the 15th time. Peace out, guys. <laughs>